Hello everybody, this is Sarah Perry, Psychic Medium, and this is your weekly insight, guidance and predictions for the last week or last couple of days of November the 29th, 2021. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your wonderful comments and thank you for still continuing to follow me and listen to me and support me. It's really, really pleasing to see. <laughs> and if you'd like a private reading, then just go down to the website, www.saraparipsychic.com. Now, excuse me, just clearing my mouth there. I've just eaten an apple. Not that you need to know that. But anyhow, if you uh, do stay tuned, really keep checking the website site out and I will be putting a list up here on YouTube. Um, there will be some sweet treats during December time up until Christmas if you'd like um, a little taste of reading or just to see what I'm all about. There's lots of options on there and also I'm doing a six step program so check that out too. Now what have we got this week? Well your intuition is highly highly important. Listen to your gut feelings this week okay. Uh, this is important to trust your skills, uh, what your abilities are are your natural abilities and how you can best use them to be beneficial to yourself. There is a massive breakthrough energy coming through this, this week. It may feel like an ill wind to start with. And by that, I mean, you may feel a sense of trepidation just before it happens. And I'm feeling this is around the end of Wednesday evening opening up onto Thursday morning. So I'm getting some feelings of nausea in people, a bit of sickness of some kind and questioning, oh, did I eat something weird? You know, particularly somebody going, oh, is that shellfish? All right. Everything is hunky-dory. I'm not a doctor, but if you are worried, do go to the doctors. But what I'm feeling is this is an energetic um, transference time um, where we're, we all have the opportunity to link into our higher selves um, at a, what they're showing is like a pinpoint of the stars or um, a heightened peak um, around that time. Um, and to just allow this to happen, don't fight it, be very aware or acknowledge any uh, feelings of being unwell, I suppose. Um, and again, if you're really unwell, go to the doctor. But what I'm saying is that this could be something that's out of the blue, where you feel a little bit dizzy. I don't know if any of you have already felt that, you know, sometimes just getting very, very heady, like you've suddenly like walked into some kind of weird zone, tr um, twilight zone or something like that. And you just feel like you're going to fall over. Um, and then it just passes. This is the energetic um, rays heightening at this point things are going to be completed or some things will be completed this week okay i feel if there's any paperwork outstanding this is a good time to finish it do your best to get things done before we get into december because december's going to be really busy that's what i feel for some people who have been really putting the work in really motiv you know getting themselves motivated and pushing forwards for 2020 too. I really, oh, I'm actually getting 2023 as well, because um, some people may have a longer term plan. Um, I do think, see things taking off. You do need to get rest breaks, okay? Really, really important. The doors are opening for some to finish something off as well. So there may be a question in the air. Do I finish with this person? Do I end this? Do I see them, you know, do, do I see it through past Christmas and then New Year's and let them know, you know, why? Why not do it before Christmas and kind of have a new start at that point rather than the end of the year, okay? Because you don't want to be, if you're unhappy with somebody or, you know, or somebody's kind of lingering around you, their energy, why have it all through the history, um, the Christmas period? I, I get the sense that, um, you know, it is a, a good time this week to tie things up, okay? Um, and I'm getting discussions as well, talking to somebody, talking something over. Maybe this is a good time to connect with somebody who hasn't been easy for a while, who's been a bit stubborn, okay? Reach out this week if you can. If you feel freedom is more important, <laughs> and actually it is, than actually constantly going back over and over and over things or trying to push someone to see your, your point of view, you know, if you're looking to split up amicably, there could be somebody that is wanting, you know, fighting you over the house and, you know, be powerful in yourself and trust it's okay to empty the bucket completely because just having that trust to be free and putting that above everything else um, will pay off, okay? Um, 
there is a new beginning about to start and I feel like this is the time to shed the old coat definitely before we step into December. Um, you might have to step for a few pots or get for a few challenges around the first and second of, of the month. But I do see things opening up more on the third. There's a new beginning um, for some people where long distance uh, relationships are concerned. You may find that you hear back from somebody you haven't for a long time. You may feel that the time is right again to have that conversation that finally you can talk about what you're arguing about. It's definitely luck. Um, I'm getting male energy, luck around male energy. It could be that you are male and you're getting a lot of luck. Um, I'm just seeing more confidence there um, and where people have been quite low. And again, males, this isn't females. So it could be you might be experiencing it from a man around you who's been feeling sound is feeling more confident um or you may feel more confident to approach somebody who hasn't really been contacting you again so we're talking about this connection again trust yourself trust you have it within you to create something good you know we can all presume we can all um look at the worst but why bother you know the worst is happening guys you know we've had so much worse Let's have something good now. The Wheel of Fortune has to turn around at some point, And this is all divine timing. OK, this is really important this week. I'm seeing celebration and engagement for somebody out there as well. Um, probably a few people because there's a lot of people in the world. But one particular, um, I'm getting the name Katie here. Um, if, there's, if that means anybody to anybody, um, some kind of celebration. Maybe it's an engagement anniversary. Anyway, whoever you are, Katie, always Katie is passing the message on. Maybe that is going to be significant to somebody. Um, working. Um, it could be a, a real focus for some of you. I feel like getting things ordered, getting things settled. Um, maybe you're putting some insurance plans um, into place. I feel this week is a good time to do it. Do look at the small print though, okay? This isn't anything to do with Mercury retrograde, but it is linked to Mercury circling around and connecting with certain planets. So do check everything and make sure you can give what you're saying you can give. Um, I do see opportunities coming nearer the end of the week, maybe opportunities for new um, working projects as well for some of you who are looking for something different. Be playful, guys. If you're dealing with some kind of addictive behaviour and you've been working with it for a long time and, you know, you say you've been, I don't know, um, sober for six months or you've just decided to go on this serious diet or, you know, it's something that, you know, I'm going to give up chocolate. Don't deny yourself. And I'm not saying to anybody who's an addict to go and start, you know, doing drugs and stuff. <laughs> what I'm saying is find a happy way of doing things, a place where you're happy. So let's look at diets, all right? Because a lot of people, um, you know, find dieting um, an issue. You know, there's all these different things on the market in their keto and um, slim fast and all these things. And there's people that do all of these things and they still never seem to lose the weight or they lose weight for an hour or a month and then it all piles back on because the root of the problem is an addictive energy it's not to do with necessarily um not being able to lose weight it's possibly that there's more of a need to be less deserving okay right and what i mean by that is that the reason or it, it's a lack of commitment to yourself it's nothing to do with the plan you really all we need is a balanced eating habit um get our bodies clean so that we can just eat normally without we don't we don't need any of these preservatives or um, additives in our diets we just we get addicted to it that's the thing um but the more you force yourself to not have something like say you want to give up smoking and you're saying i'm going to give up i'm going to give up everything revolves around this the more you do it the more you're focusing on giving up um and or stopping yourself right so you're kind of stopping yourself you're focusing on stopping but you're stopping yourself from enjoy you know you're you're putting a block on yourself okay and all you're thinking about is you're focusing on the addict the on the addiction so if you were to say to yourself look i'm going to go on a diet um i'm going to eat well i'm going to look after myself and if you focus on your well-being and say right i'm going to listen to my needs and you know if i want a bit of chocolate i'll have it you'll probably find you don't have it 
You don't look for it because if you try and prevent yourself, once you like tap into it, you'll binge it and then you're back to square one. All right. So consider that what you're focusing on. If you're focusing again on the worries, the negatives, the presumptions that things can go wrong, you're just going to create it. OK, if you're focusing that, oh, my God, chocolate's awful for me. You know, it's kind of it's just there in your face constantly. <laughs> all right. um, I hope that makes sense. Um there are creative energies around for those who are in design, social media, um, people who artists, um, producers, that kind. I'm seeing a new passion coming in for some of you and people linking up with passionate ideas, okay, and starting to connect and collaborate a little bit more this week. Lots of speed energy around for those um and, and I mean speed as in fast pace, um, for those who, you know, want to move far forwards, you know, who are motivated enough, I feel like things can really kind of take off. Um, for some of you, you may feel that something hasn't worked out around Wednesday time, I'm getting lunchtime for somebody, feeling like I put all that work in, it didn't really happen, it could be an interview that didn't work out. This is because it wasn't the right thing for you, okay? It's because it's something else. So again, don't dwell on the loss. Dwell on what you're free now to do and the possibilities. That this, the you know, there's a blank page, there's still other opportunities. It wasn't the only one in the world. You know, it's like if you say to somebody um, who's just broken up with someone, well, you know, there's more fish in the sea, you probably get a slap. But the truth is that person is not the only person in the world. And even though you think, well, I, where am I going to meet someone? How am I going to do it? There are so many ways of meeting people, right? But actually stop looking because if you're looking, you're always searching again, okay? So we're looking at that whole addiction thing you're like i really need love i need love if you think you need love then you're always going to need it right so you're kind of blocking it there's some big change and shift going to happen around friday saturday lunchtime um into the afternoon i'm getting some crazy weather happening in some areas of the world which is kind of normal right now but i'm getting some realization for some of you and it's a little bit of a, again a strong gut feeling like someone's kind of got you in the stomach and you think oh my god and a realization comes over you and you suddenly realize you've got to break free of somebody or something okay and you'll suddenly realize that again that isn't the only option that that thing was just causing you chaos or somebody has been influencing you in the wrong way there is a lot of positivity. I'm getting cancer energy around things falling into place. And for some of you, there's going to be a major ending this week. Um, I'm getting emotional endings, ends of cycles opening up into a really beautiful light healing energy. Um, many of you are going to feel like suddenly the need to move. OK, and when that energy comes in. Just let go of your doubts, guys. Things are changing all the time. Remember, right, we are all, and I, I've said this in um, a reading for somebody this week, you know, we're literally just a bunch of bats hanging around in the wind, you know, waiting for a change, of the, for the lights to come on or the change of the weather to decide what to do next. So, you know, we're all blind, really. We don't know what's coming. We're just hanging around. So be in that flow. OK, and when it's still be peaceful, um, plan or put into place what you can and but be ready that things could change at the last minute. You don't need a plan B. If you're working with your instincts, you'll, there'll be another option. It means something's just moving aside so you can see better. So hope this has helped everybody. If you'd like a private reading, do get in touch with me um, and look out for these sweet deals during December. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.